Tonight's celebration of pivoting through the pandemic is dedicated to Kenny Moyer, who lost his battle with cancer just four months ago. Kenny was an early and valued member of the Ice Theater of New York Ensemble and was our 2018 Alumnus Awardee. He is greatly missed, and his contributions to the Ice Theater of New York and the skating community at large will never be forgotten. We are joined tonight by Kenny's family, as well as fellow skaters from across the United States and Canada. Welcome, all. Dancing on Ice. An art form like none other. Five years, Ice Theater of New York has been creating and innovating. Tonight, experience the story. Ice Theater of New York presents Pivoting through the pandemic. Our host for the evening, Olympic medalist, Jason Brown. Hello and welcome. I am so excited to be your host this evening for Ice Theater of New York's Pivoting Through the Pandemic streaming broadcast. I hope you enjoy the performances we have in store for you. Artistic skating and dancing on ice are what I aspire to. And to tell you more about what we have in store, it's my privilege to introduce to you the founder and artistic director, Moira North. Thank you, Jason, and welcome everyone to an evening of celebration of our pivoting creatively through the pandemic. This is also an evening to thank our fans and loyal donors for all of their support these past 35 years. We could not have met this milestone without your generous backing. Now I would like to introduce three video projects we did during the time that ice rinks were closed. The first project is set on synthetic ice at our studio. The theme is that performer Angela Kim comes out of the coronavirus cocoon and takes flight into renewed health and happiness. Something that I hope for all of us. Video number two is what all of our skaters and performing apprentices did to stay in shape and balance during COVID closings. The third is of ensemble member Sarah France playing with the aerial hoop over and on our polyglide ice. This piece is entitled Shadow and is set to music by pioneering electronic composer Lori Spiegel. I hope that you enjoy these videos and the entire evening.
New York Times dance critic Gia Corliss celebrated Ice Theater of New York's resilience during the pandemic in a recent feature profiling the company's pivot from skating on ice to hitting the New York pavement. support Ice Theater of New York's programming. You can text to donate. Text ITNY to 202-858-1233 or go to our website at icetheater.org slash support. After tonight's broadcast, you can join the artists in a lively question and answer session. Just go to icetheater.org slash support to sign up and send in your questions. Thank you for your generous support. I want to thank Jason for being our host tonight and for all that he has given to the skating world. Besides being a renowned world and Olympic competitor, Jason is a very creative, innovative performer. Whether it was his Irish step piece or more recently, his spectacular short program, 
set to the music of Nina Simone and choreography by Roheen Ward. Jason has become one of my very favorite skaters. Jason has sent us a recent video for our viewing. Let's take a look. And I'm Gage. We're the 2021 Junior National Ice Dance Silver Medalists. And for over five years, we've been Ice Theater of New York's performing apprentices. We very much appreciate all the performance opportunities Ice Theater of New York has given us outside of testing and competing. We had the opportunity to skate at the famous Rockefeller Center and do programs for public school kids at Harlem Queens and Prospect Park. And most recently, we were able to do a pop-up concert at Bryant Park. We're very grateful for your support and of all of Ice Theater of New York's programming. Let's take a look at our free dance performance at the pop-up concert in beautiful Bryant Park.
I am so delighted to present the next skater. Caitlin Weaver is an Olympian and three-time world medalist with her partner, Andrew Poge. Ice Theater of New York commissioned Caitlin to create the first solo dance piece for the company. Here to tell you about it is Caitlin herself. Thank you so much, Jason. I am just delighted to be commissioned to do Ice Theater of New York's first ever solo ice dance piece. I think it's so great to recognize that you can embrace the joy of ice dance solo, in a couple, or otherwise. The piece that I'll be performing today is I Feel the Earth Move by Carol King. And I'm so inspired by this music because it makes me happy. It puts a spring back in my step after a long winter. So I hope you enjoy my piece. Let's take a look at the video. I trust you are enjoying this broadcast, and I hope that you will join me and my fellow ICE artists, Jason Brown and Elaj Balde, in our post-event discussion with Doug Hoff. To sign up for the Zoom room, go to ICE Theater's website. Thank you for your support. I hope you've been enjoying these performances. I know I certainly have, and there's more to come, including a piece based on the pivoting, which I think will become part of our iconic repertory. I'm looking forward to celebrating our 35th anniversary with you all next spring. But in the meantime, here are some of the pivotal points of our rich history. It all began in 1984 with the creation of a free dance piece for Moira North and Patrick Dean in collaboration with European dance choreographer Mark Bogarts. Called Heaven and Hell, this piece won the free dance at the U.S. Open and the World Professional Championships in Jaca, Spain. Following this, an intrepid group of professional skaters gathered at the original Sky Rink on West 33rd Street from 1 to 5 in the morning, three times a week, to do dance classes on and off the ice and to start rehearsing the very first ensemble pieces. Carol Schulman of the Professional Skating Association wrote, Ice Theater of New York is adding a whole new facet to our diamond sport. 
from these beginnings sprang America's first nonprofit artistic ice skating group, which over time earned support as a dance company from the National Endowment for the Arts, the New York State Council on the Arts, and the New York Department of Cultural Affairs. The Hard Edge Show in May 1988 drew audiences who came to see the great John Curry, but they left marveling at Gary Beacom's innovative solo artistry and Ice Theater's groundbreaking ensemble work. New York Times senior dance critic Anna Kisselgoff wrote, Ice Theater of New York is on to something and deserves greater support. After Hard Edge, Ice Theater's skating ensemble continued to evolve and grow, with weekly plie power classes and rehearsals held gratefully during the light of day. The company's move in 1995 to the new sky rink at Chelsea Piers drew acclaim from near and far. After viewing Different Trains by choreographer Rob McBrien at Rockefeller Center in 1990, dance magazine reviewer Gary Parks wrote, Ice Theater of New York surpasses conventional figure skating as much as a Japanese bullet train does the Long Island Railroad. Across the decades, Ice Theater has won funding from the New York State Council on the Arts for collaborations with numerous dance world choreographers, including Twyla Tharp, David Parsons, Jacqueline Buglisi, and Laura Dean. Ice Theater of New York has also nurtured the development of gifted choreographers from within the company, such as Catherine Healy, Douglas Webster, David Liu, Elisa Angeli, and most recently, Joel Deere. Some of the company's most memorable pieces have been showcased on real ice at traditional stage venues, such as West Point's Eisenhower Hall and the Stoller Performing Arts Center at Stony Brook University. These works include Two to One by David Liu, Once Again by Heather Harrington, and Departures by Doug Webster, all with deep and timely social themes. Many other performances from the past 35 years also stand out in memory. Angel Part One was a commission from nonprofit presenting organization Dancing in the Streets. Choreographed for ITNY by performance artist Ann Carlson, this 1990 work evokes the ceremonial quality of a Tibetan processional and became an iconic piece for the company. The 1999 Winter Solstice production at the Ice Castle in Kemi, Finland was conceived by Ice Theater director Moira North and produced by Sony TV for the A&E Network. Barney's 2014 holiday window launch on synthetic ice placed lengthwise down Madison Avenue featured skaters, dancers, acrobats, and opera singers, as well as a cappella group The Pentatonics, all directed by renowned film director Boz Lerman. Ice Theater collaborated with Grammy-winning singer-composer Theo Blechman and pianist Yuri Kane on Winter Ice. With the support of a commission from renowned music venue National Sawdust, Winter Ice was performed on synthetic ice and set to Blechman's reimagination of Schubert's Winter Ice. Ice Theater performers are not only professional skaters and dancers, Many have become accomplished aerial artists, committing to bringing artistic skating to new and unexpected heights. According to Ernest Jones, the noted biographer of Sigmund Freud, skating combines and surpasses the joys of flying and dancing. Only in a certain type of a dream do we ever else attain a higher degree of the same ravishing experience of exultantly skimming the earth. After 35 years of continuous programming, Ice Theater is as dedicated as ever to developing skating as a medium for movement expression of the highest artistic caliber. For Ice Theater of New York, the best is yet to come.
support Ice Theater of New York's programming. You can text to donate. Text ITNY to 202-858-1233. Or go to our website at icetheater.org slash support. It is my pleasure to introduce to you artist, athlete, and activist, the one and only Adam Rippon. One of the world's most dramatic figure skaters, Adam won over the heart of America and the world at the 2018 Winter Olympics. Known for his refreshing candor and wit, his rise to fame on the global stage has provided him a platform to speak out in support of LGBTQ rights and the freedom to be oneself. His passion and charm have made him an inspiration to young and old alike, making him a role model and icon to millions. Ice Theater of New York bestowed Adam with its Will Sears Award, given to a skater for daring greatly, on and off the ice. Adam certainly has. Thanks, Jason. I was so happy and honored to receive the Will Sears Award, and it came just at the right time in my career. It's a reminder to dare greatly and to be authentic, and it was such an honor to perform with the Ice Theater of New York and their young apprentices at their spring event. Ice Theater of New York has a wonderful outreach program for public school children, which they have been presenting for close to 30 years. Over the years, New Works and Young Artist Series has introduced thousands of children to skating and the art of dancing on ice. It has been my complete privilege to champion this programming, and I hope you will join me in supporting Ice Theater of New York's outreach if you can. For information on how to donate, go to the Ice Theater website. On behalf of the Ice Theater of New York, I thank you. Let's take a look at the program in action. It was very much engaging for them that they can come out of the classroom and still have that mentality that I'm learning something new. And although they didn't try those stunts, you can sense that what they what they saw, they tried to emulate. My favorite part was the little kids seeing them skating. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. The teachers helped. Because I used to be like gripping the walls all the time and now I can kind of skate. I think as an experience, my kids uh, don't get to see much of the ice skating. They don't get to take part of these kind of activities. So for them to be able to be in this, in this arena and actually see professionals doing it, it inspires them. The fact that they actually are doing it with them takes it to another level. Please support Ice Theater of New York's outreach program and junior ensemble by donating generously. You can text to donate. Text ITNY to 202-858-1233. Or go to our website at icetheater.org slash support. We thank you for your continued support. It is my pleasure to introduce a remarkable artist, Elaj Balde. Born in Moscow, Elaj emigrated to Canada where he started skating at the age of seven and later became a member of the Canadian national team. Elaj moved on to a full-time career as a show skater and has been a beloved guest artist with Ice Theater of New York for the past six years. In the middle of last year, Elaj became a co-founder and president of the Figure Skating Diversity and Inclusion Alliance whose mission is to foster more diversity and inclusion in figure skating. Lately, Elaj has become a social media sensation with one of his videos to Rihanna getting almost 18 million views. Elaj is truly one of the most unbelievable performers, pushing boundaries and drawing people in when he skates. He has become a real voice in the skating community, bringing attention and awareness to areas in which our sport needs to grow. Please welcome Elaj Balde. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jason, for your kind words. Um, I wanted to congratulate you because um, I saw you compete at Worlds and uh, your short program was truly one of the most unbelievable things I've seen. And I truly think that it's probably my favorite short program in the men's field um, of all time. So congratulations on that. And uh, I hope that in a post-COVID world, I'll be able to give you a big hug to congratulate you. Over the past six years, I've been given many opportunities to perform with Ice Theater of New York at the Rockefeller Center, during the outreach program for public school children in Harlem, and in Ice Theater of New York's gala home season. Most recently, I've participated virtually as a teacher um, during the Ice Theater of New York Choreography Lab. I also was featured in the Ice Theater of New York's Black Lives Matter on and off of the ice posts. These performances and opportunities and platforms for influence and change have helped me as a competitor and as an artist, and now more specifically as a social activist. I support and applaud the mission of Ice Theater of New York. And now my dear friends, I'm honored to present to you two of my favorite pieces and two pieces that are really, really close to my heart. The first one, I'd like to introduce the piece that I will be skating to Amanda Gorman's inaugural speech. Um, this one is close to my heart because of the message, because of the power she has in her voice and in her words. And connecting to that while I'm skating was one of the most beautiful things I've ever experienced. The second piece is one of, the favorite, one of my favorite things to perform in front of a live audience, Uptown Funk from Bruno Mars. And that is actually the last, one of the last performances I've done for a live performance, for a live audience, but also my last performance with Ice Theater of New York up until that point. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope that you will uh, enjoy it. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never ending shade? The loss we carry, a sea we must wade. We've braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always peace in the norms and notions of what just is, isn't always just is. And yet the dawn is ours before we knew it. Somehow we do it. Somehow we've weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. We, the successors of a country and a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting for one.
I hope you enjoy these videos and I look forward to seeing you in the Zoom room for the discussion with my fellow artists, Caitlin Weaver and Jason Brown after the end of the broadcast. To join the Zoom, please go to the link on your screen. Thank you for supporting Ice Theatre of New York. It occurred to me with all the talk of pivoting through the pandemic, since skating has an actual move called a pivot, it would be a great idea to create a socially distanced ensemble piece reflective of the time. We were delighted to commission Joel Deere to do the choreography and Jordan Cowan of On Ice Perspectives to do the filming. Let's take a look at pivoting. That was beautiful. I hope you also enjoyed this latest piece of repertory, Pivoting. And I want to thank all of the skaters, choreographers, and supporters for a wonderful 35 years. We couldn't have done it without you. 
thank you from the bottom of my heart. Moira, thank you so much for having me host tonight. It has been a real privilege. And thank you to everyone at home who tuned in to watch. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. I look forward to performing for a live audience again soon. Thank you and good evening. And for those of you joining the Zoom room, I'll see you there.